Hi guys. Hi guys. We are the Moms of Furries. I'm Carrie. I'm Joelle. And uh, hey Joelle, how's it going? It's going. <laughs> So we, we're busy. We are super busy. We have to bang this out, which is why we have no makeup. I can't even know where my glasses are, but that's okay. We have no makeup. I don't remember if I even brushed my hair. I mean, I pulled it back, but I can't even remember if I brushed my hair today. That's okay. <laughs> I like you just the way you are. Back at you. Thank you. So we are pretty silly and crazy because we're really excited because we have a big trip coming up. We do. Well, and you guys don't know this, but I have a mini trip in between now and Megaplex, and you have an early to Florida trip before Megaplex, so we're going to meet up. It's crazy. Yeah, so after today, we're not going to see each other for over a week, which is really bizarre. Very unusual. We're not sure how to handle it. We're just processing right now. We're, we're being very brave. Very but brave. the cool thing is, when we see each other again, we'll be at Megaplex, uh, and we'll get to see some of you. Yay! Yes. Yes, and we're hoping to do um, either snippet video snippets or something to, to share with you guys from actual Megaplex footage because we realize we've never really done that. We don't do I that. I think we're really bad at recording images and things at the um, fur cons, but we are only two in. This will be number three, so we'll improve. We'll improve. We just get so excited that we forget what we're doing. Sometimes we forget we have our kids with us. And then no, we see something too. shiny or furry. And <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we hope to give you guys some footage. We're excited about it. Definitely. Yeah. But we do have a purpose for our video today. We do. So uh, to follow last week's video, um, we're just going to give you just a little information about where to start searching for a maker. If you've received your ref sheets and you are ready to move forward to get a suit, you're flush with cash, <laughs> and you just, you're rolling in the dough. No, I'm just joking. If you've saved really hard, whatever, if you are ready to go forward, then um, you're gonna have to pick a maker or at least a few makers to choose from. And that can be really overwhelming. I mean, there are just so many talented artists out there. Where do you start? Yes. and. It, Go ahead. I'm sorry. I was going to jump the gun, which I tend to do. You, we have an agenda. <laughs> sort of. As much as we do agendas. <laughs> um, so uh, it's not Pokari. It's the Pokari's other character, and it starts with an A, and I cannot remember the name of it right now. Anyway, they put together, or they, I don't know, they handle the database. I'm not even really sure how it got together. I was told. There's this database. There's a database. On Tumblr, if you go to Google and just type in Fursuit Maker Database, it'll come up, I think it's, well, it was the first link for us, so I don't know how yours will work out. I don't think it's, doesn't that go along like your echo chambers or something? Like the results that you get? Okay, so whatever. Fursuit, or Fursuit Maker's Database, it's a Tumblr link. We'll actually put it in the description. I don't know so anything can... about SEO. Sorry, let's go. So we'll put it in the description so you could just go use that link. But you could Google it. You can Google it. <laughs> anyway, and um, they put like together all of this information for you. It's really, really helpful. It will guide you through a lot of the process. Uh, we hope to talk to some actual makers to get um, some tips or like what their main concerns when they're working with someone just to give you a heads up maybe in a future video. But right now, just go to that database. I cannot stress um, strongly enough how beneficial that would be in your search. Um, also, Pokari has some great videos about makers. Yes, absolutely. And um, is, she is the one that has the list of, what is it, 10? Yes. Like, well, they're the 10 insane. Oh, okay. Um, and then I think there's like the 10 you may not know. We will give you... Some, look for the cards coming across the top. Click on some of them. We will hope we hope <laughs> to direct you <laughs> very nice yeah. to some beneficial videos. And also, um, Ace of Hearts Fox yes. had a really good video. We'll also put a card in here <laughs> when we go back and, and upload this. They're just amazing suitors out there. So you really need to um, kind of pin down your style. Are you looking for realistic? Are you looking for toony? Um, I think that's like a good beginning. Yes, so you definitely need to narrow that down if you want to be a plush or a toony or realistic. And then you really need to decide um, before you start looking for a commission, what kind of suit do you want? Do I need a partial, a half? Do I want to just do head and paws? 
That's a great idea because really, or I mean a great suggestion, because really by the time your rep sheet's commissioned and your art's done, you kind of know if you're realistic or you're toony, but you're right. What can I afford and what do I want? Am I going- What's my comfort zone? Because there's more, sorry, I told you. Oh no, go, go. But there's more even than just your budget, although budget really is very important when you're when you're thinking about commissioning a fursuit. But what is your comfort level? Right. Bad suits can be heavy. They can be very hot, stifling. They can be form-fitting. You know, if you have sensory issues, that may not work well for you, or it may be just what you need. So really, those are the things you need to think Consider, about. Consider, right. Yeah. Or do you want something that you could wear as a partial, like head, paws, tail, and then have a bodysuit, the Kigu, I know a lot of people do that, to go along with it. Like there are lots of things, I think you're only limited by your imagination, um, but those are, you're right, those are things to consider. Oh my gosh, did you see on Twitter yesterday the um, head with the breathable cheeks? No. So smart. I cannot remember who did it. If I remember, I will try are they to put ventilated? it. Yes. Wow. It, that's brilliant. And things keep coming out like that. Um, I know a lot of people wear under armor, under for the sensory and the um, wicking the heat away. Well, plus I know that the backside of fur is not, it's not always that skin friendly. Right. So the under armor makes sense to me. Um, and if I was going to commission a suit, I would do a partial. For sure, because oh, I would need to, to wear regular clothes because... I couldn't do the full suit. It yeah. would be too much so, for me. I would feel respect really Respect for those who, who do that, yeah. And it may be something that you need to work up to. Well, and you're going to want to check the, the makers that you're seeking. Do they have some specialties that they, like fans in the head, or do they do some special things that you're interested in? Um, the protogens have the digital stuff. Uh, Dr. Wildlife is a good uh, suitor to look at for that. So cool. Very cool. Um, but yeah, so this is where you start. Go to the database, watch some YouTube videos, get, uh, there are tons, really, if you just Google fursuit makers, in, I mean, not Google, but if you search um, in YouTube, just fursuit makers, you're gonna come up with some quality videos. The ones that we're gonna link you to through the cards and maybe in the description, are ones that we really appreciate and feel like are, but we've not seen all of them, so. There's so many we haven't seen. And also there are new first suit makers out there all, all the, the time. time. And yeah. I would say, don't be afraid to approach somebody new because chances are you're gonna have a really good relationship with somebody that's new and you're gonna have a lot more back and forth um, and collaboration. Good, yeah, collaboration, good communication. So I would ask to see some of their previous work, even if they haven't made a fursuit, so you can get an idea of what their skill level is with sewing and creating. Right. And then just be willing to um, take that leap of faith with someone you feel comfortable with because you just never know. Everybody, well, everybody has to start somewhere. I was, that's what I was going to say. Everybody started somewhere with a first suit. So um, good, good point. I think that is really it for today. We just wanted to get you started like go to the database do your research on google i keep saying google youtube you i say google i it's my fault <laughs> i apologize that's okay and twitter twitter is our friend i know that some people get lost in sometimes the drama and the things but oh my gosh the images and the works in progress and all of those things we we get a lot of information uh, via twitter so Definitely, and if you're not sure where to go, hit us up on Twitter. Um, just message or here. us or here, of course, and just ask us. We will direct you. Um, maybe if you give us a little information of what you're looking for, we'll direct you as best we can. Yeah, definitely. And also, uh, stay tuned because what will be coming up next? We're going to talk more in depth about commissioning a first suit. We're gonna. You, you guys are going to go through my process of commissioning a ref sheet. Very excited. And which is coming up really soon because August 1st for Neon Slushy, who you've chosen Oh my to. gosh. You yeah. will be here. When I'm doing my... I won't be here. I don't want to be videoed alone. I won't be here. Oh, we're going to figure that out. We'll figure something. I mean, we can't figure out like you being be here. here. But we're going to work it out. Maybe you'll just... We'll figure it out. But you guys are going to go along for the ride. We should have done it sooner. That's we not can't. your problem. Because... I was supposed to do it. We're out of time, but we have another more important issue today. We have, yeah, that form is item number one. 
Oh yeah, we have a form that we is have, item We have one. a lot of balls in the air. You can count on us. Anyway. So, next time you guys see us, we will be at Megaplex. Oh Florida. my gosh. So, if you see us, if you're there, you need to say hi to us. We will be overwhelmed. We will be like stars in our eyes looking at all of the first weeks. Yeah, and we need encouragement too, just like a lot of you out there. So, if you see us, please say hi because we're probably saying say we probably Same. are because we get a little nervous so oh, and if you find a video about fursuit makers that we've not talked about please put it in a comment below because we love 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 to find new uh, creators we love to find new artists we are, it's one of uh, yeah. great joy for us so. and actually we know that there are some young makers here in the Reno area yes so uh, in some of our upcoming episodes we definitely want to interview them and talk to them about their experience um, and show some and of their work yes we want to showcase the work and put communication out there if so that if you want to connect with them to maybe commission. So yeah. Anyway, All right. so check us out um, on our website mofurries.com. We're on Twitter at Moms of Furries. We're here on the YouTube. We're on Instagram at Moms of Furries. Yeah. Reddit Moms of Furries. And if you are not a subscriber, please consider subscribing. Click like on the video if you're willing. And there's a little bell icon at the bottom that'll notify you when we put out a new video. And as always, we appreciate you. Oh, and we're on Patreon if you want to help support our oh. cause to give back to the fandom. Yay. All right, guys. Um, I think that's it. And we will see you in Florida. Have a great day. Bye.